folks, it's Friday, Friday, May 22nd. I'm Colby with Mitten Fitness. Today you're gonna need one heavy object and a timer. A reminder, we do have timer apps recommended in our description below. All right, let's get to a warm up for you. Today we've got a new warm up. It's gonna be as many repetitions as possible for six minutes. This is a warm up, so take it smooth and slow. Focus more on technique than speed. Um, you're gonna have three side to side deep lunges and sumo twists, which is a new move. I'll show you that. Then you're gonna have six overhead squats. You could do those with a PVC or just your hands up. Uh, and then we'll have nine wall slides and you'll rotate through those moves until the six minutes are up. So you're setting a timer for this. All right, so for those side to side deep lunges and sumo twists, they're a little different. You're gonna start with that first deep lunge, nice long stride, getting that deep lunge in, then you are twisting you can put your hands on the ground to do this walking the hands to your opposite foot so that that left hand is touching that right foot you're in a nice wide sumo stance and then you're reaching up with that free right hand all right then you'll come down into a deep lunge on that right side and then walk it back to the left where your right hand will be on that left foot in that sumo stance and reaching that left hand up to the sky your eyes should follow all right that was just two reps you're doing three each side left and right on those then you've got the overhead squats. If you have a PVC or a band, you can kind of simulate that overhead squat with a bar. If not, just put your hands up, find that squat stance, butt back and down and up. Down, parallel or below and up. Your midline is nice and stable. That band, if you're using one or PVC, should slice you right in half at the top, be directly overhead, and should follow the plane down as best as possible. Hopefully mine is, and back up. You're doing six of those overhead squats. Then you'll do nine wall slides. So find a wall, sit up against that, tailbone all the way against the wall, back up completely against the wall, shoulders, everything's against the wall. Hands are up, elbows are up in that 90. Knuckles should be touching the wall, elbows should be touching the wall. You're gonna go up, keeping the hands and elbows on the wall, and down as far as you can, keeping the knuckles and elbows on the wall back up. You're gonna do nine wall slides, okay? After those, you go right back up to the side to side, deep lunge and sumo twists, and repeat until your six minute timer goes off. All right, press pause, have fun with that warm up. I'll see you right back here for strength. Welcome back from that warm up. Today's strength has three different movements, a triple threat superset. Uh, we've got dumbbell back squats, four sets of 15 to 20. Then we have kettlebell bent presses. This, these all can be done with either a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Kettlebell bent presses, four sets of six to eight reps each side on those. And then we have kettlebell or dumbbell hang power clean and reverse lunges, four sets of eight to 10 each side on those as well. You do have 30 seconds between all of these movements. Take that rest. Uh, then you cycle through them all until you've done four sets of all three movements. All right, so the dumbbell back squat or kettlebell, whatever object you have. Today I'm going to use a kettlebell for demo. 
You're basically going to get this weight on your back. And then you're going to squat. So find that squat stance, stabilize that midline, down to parallel or below, and back up. Dumbbell back squat. You're going to do four sets, 15 to 20 on the dumbbell or kettlebell back squat. Next we have kettlebell bent presses. Think of our windmills on these because you're going to <laughs> hinge toward the opposite foot than the hand that you're pressing with to do these bent presses. Um, so it's going to kind of look like this. Get a wider stance going, uh, squat stance or just outside of squat stance. And you're going to bend toward, in this instance, the weights in my right hand. I'm going to hinge, hinge the waist toward the left foot while pressing. Okay. All right. That is the kettlebell bent press. If you have a fancy watch, you may want to switch it around or take it off. If you're using a kettlebell, it might 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 do your watch in injustice. All right, kettlebell bench presses is four sets of six to eight reps each side, and then we've got after that the third movement is the kettlebell hang power clean reverse lunge. For the kettlebell hang power clean reverse lunges, step up to your object pretty much shoulder width apart with those feet. Uh, whether it's a dumbbell or kettlebell, reach down with that stable midline, grab it, bring it up to that hang position. All right, and then hike it back, lunge it down. All right, as you clean it, you can go ahead back into that lunge with the momentum. Keep that midline stable and have fun with those. All right, you're doing eight to 10 reps on the hang power clean reverse lunges each side. Then you go back up to those dumbbell back squats, dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever object you have. Cycle through all three movements until you've done four sets of each. Take that 30 seconds rest in between each movement have fun with it. I'll see you back here for conditioning. Welcome back from strength. Today's conditioning is 21, 15, 9 repetitions of a goblet curtsy lunge. And that's going to be each leg. And then dumbbell or kettlebell, whatever your heavy object is, hang power snatches. And that's going to be each arm. All right, and then at the end of each round, at the end of the 21 repetition round, 15 repetition round, and nine repetition round, you're gonna do 30 sit-ups, 30 ab mat sit-ups at the end of each round. To show you those movements for the goblet curtsy lunge, <clears throat> you're gonna take your weight, put it in the goblet position, however you wanna hold that, if it's a kettlebell, if it's a dumbbell, grab it by one head, all right, you're gonna find kind of a normal hip or shoulder width stance. You are gonna lunge back and bring that knee kind of in a curtsy style to the outside of the planted ankle or foot, okay? And then come back up, keeping that midline stable, down and in-ish and back up. If you're just bringing that knee directly behind that heel, that's just fine. If you've got the range and flexibility to go just inside of that, great, okay? That's what we wanna do is kinda hit a different muscle and come on up. Again, keeping the midline stable, maintaining that goblet position, chest up, all of that good stuff. All right, that is the goblet curtsy lunge. Again, each leg on that. So left, right counts as one. Uh, then we've got 
dumbbell or kettlebell hang power snatches and that is each arm so on the hangs do them from between the legs go ahead and grab it initially with that stable midline and then the hang position position two there right by the knees hike it back and snatch it up make sure you're shrugging drawing that zipper up for the snatch keeping that midline stable engaged use that knee bend use that hip thrust to help get that dumbbell up there and then again zip that coat up on the way up to the top with that dumbbell all right now you can do those alternating or you can do each arm on those however you want to do it split the reps up somewhere um, might be faster to not alternate every rep if you're gonna alternate maybe switch at the switch right in front of you but again with the transition might be faster to just do as many reps as you can one arm than the rest than the opposite arm but again it is each arm for this wad so 21 goblet curtsy lunges each leg left right or 42 however you want to look at that and then 21 dumbbell or kettlebell hang power snatches each arm 42 total however you want to look at that 15 total after that nine total after that or 30 and 18 and then don't forget at the end of each round the 21 the 15 the 9 you're doing 30 sit-ups 30 sit-ups uh, my ab mat is in my car so I'm using a pillow you can use a pillow phone and towel blanket couch pillows work very well um, or an ab mat if you got one butterfly those feet together tuck that pillow up near your tailbone if it's an ab mat make sure the thickest part is toward your tailbone then you're gonna bring your arms back touch the ground come back up shoulders cross the hip plane touch those toes back all right ab mat sit-ups 30 of those at the end of each round Press pause, have fun with this. I'll see you back here for conditioning. All right, welcome back for a very necessary cool down. Uh, you always have the option to do the shutdown challenge before you do this cool down. It's in the description below. Today's cool down involves the lizard pose. You're gonna do 30 seconds each side on that one. You can do that dynamic or static. And then the world's greatest stretch. With the world's greatest stretch, we're gonna rest 30 seconds in each pose. I'm gonna show you that now. Uh, so start with the world's greatest stretch, get in that plank position, then bring your right foot on the outside of that right hand. You're gonna leave that left hand planted. You're gonna try, lift that right hand up and try to bring that right elbow to the ground. That is a very strong word, try. Don't, uh, not everybody should be able to, so don't worry about it if you can't, but the point is you're stretching this area right here. Your hamstring, your groin area is opening up. So we're gonna hold this position for about 30 seconds. So from this position, you're gonna go into a pigeon pose. So you can leave that left arm plank and just bring that leg under, right leg under. Lower yourself onto your elbows if you can. If you can bring your head down, great. But you're gonna hang into this uh, pigeon pose for 30 seconds. You can kind of rock back and forth, take deep breaths, try to stretch lower each time, but hold that position for about 30 seconds. After the pigeon, come on up into a straight leg, hamstring stretch, 
bring that toe up. If you can reach that toe, pull it toward you. And you're stretching this, holding this position for about 30 seconds. If you want to do a more dynamic release and stretch for that 30 seconds, you can. And then lastly, keeping that foot forward, you're gonna work into a hip flexor stretch. Bring those hands overhead, push them toward the ceiling and lower, feeling that stretch in the hip flexor. I'll switch sides for you just so you can see. Again, hands toward the ceiling, lower the leg, arch the back. Feeling that stretch here. And hold for about 30 seconds for that pose and then do the opposite side. Again, holding 30 seconds for each of those poses of the world's greatest stretch. All right, for that lizard pose, you're gonna get down on the ground. You're gonna have your right leg is forward, left hand on the ground. You're gonna grab that left foot with your right hand. And then you're gonna kind of ease forward, stretching that hip flexor area and that quad attachment, and just kind of leaning forward into that. Now you can gradually hold and breathe, and every time you exhale, try to stretch a little further for 30 solid seconds. Or you, again, can go dynamic with that and release the tension, go back in. Trying to get a deeper stretch though, each time on that hip flexor front area. I'll do it with the opposite leg, you might get a better view. So again, grabbing your right foot with your left hand and just bringing that left foot forward so that you can kind of lean in and stretch that hip flexor area. Really good quad stretch here too. And if you can, bring that chest up high. And again, you can either do that static, trying to stretch a little deeper each breath or releasing and dynamically going deeper. So that is the lizard pose. That's your cool down for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for joining Mitten Fitness, CrossFit Dexter, for these quarantine, stay home, get ripped workouts. Hey folks, really appreciate you tuning in. Please do us a favor, press that like button, subscribe, find us on Facebook, Find us on Instagram, like us, like us, follow us, follow us. Stay healthy.